Swords of Legends Online 2022. Hi Saviors, GH here. Today we're gonna do a Swords of Legends Online from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Swords of Legends Online is a 3D action fantasy MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, what is this? Fox Mage. Okay, I think here are the different classes. We got Fox Mage here, which is a fox half human girl. Can we be a fully grown dude? Nope. So this is just a girl. The next class is the Spirit Warrior. What? Again, it's another girl. Can we change? Nope. Okay, so if you're a Spirit Warrior, you're stuck with this. Let's go to the next class. Crystal Warrior. And there it goes, a fully grown dude. Can we be a woman? Nope. Okay, so this one is stuck as a dude. Okay, next class is Reaper. He kind of looks like a girl, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's a dude. Oh yeah, he's a man. And there goes the female version. Can we rotate? Kind of want to see her. Okay, we cannot rotate. Next class is Summoner. There goes the female Summoner. And here's the male Summoner. Woo, he has an EV, a Pokemon. I kind of want to use this. Okay, we're gonna go back. And here's the board, the male board, and here's the female board. Next class is spell sword. That's the female spell sword. And here's the male spell sword. Next is berserker. That's the male berserker. And here's the female berserker. Last class over here is spear master. There goes the woman and man spear master. Okay, so we're gonna play as a summoner, a uh, female summoner. Let's go. Next. And here's the character customization guys, who looks like it's very in-depth. In here we can change the basic shape of the head. There's only two. Okay, so there's a few different skin tones over here. And there's a preset. Okay, if you don't want to fiddle with the character customization. But we're gonna take a look at the character customization. Let's go to the face tab. In here we can change the forehead, small short front, the temples, cheekbones, cheek, lower jaw, and chin. Okay. You can also change the eyebrows and eyes, the nose. Can we change the nose? Oh yeah, look at this. The nose is getting longer. Then, what's this then? Oh, okay. That's it. Now, we can also change the mouth. Now for the makeup. Okay, I don't want to <laughs> fiddle with the makeup. We can change the makeup, the eyes and eyebrows and lips and then face. Oh, there's a lot of tattoos in the game. What's this? Oh yeah, there's a lot of features, face features that you can add. Now the hairstyle. How many hairstyles? Okay, so about 12 hairstyles. What's this fringe? Oh, okay. That's it. Now hair accessory. Let's zoom out so we can see the hair accessory. So we can have that. And then body type total. What? Ah, okay. That's the height. Then we can make her a thin and thick. Let's be in the middle. We can change the head and shoulders. Upper body, hip, arms, hands, thigh, and lower legs. Where's the breast slider over here? <laughs> Upper body? No. No, there's no breast slider. I'm disappointed. Okay, anyway. I'm probably not seeing it. Let's go to the clothing and avatar. There's only one. And what's this? Oh, I think this is the picture of your character. And then we can change the voice. There's six voices. And that's the character customization. We're gonna pick among these presets over here. Let's zoom in. We're gonna pick this one. Complete. Oh, okay. Name the character. Complete. And there goes our character, beginner one. Enter the game. And cutscene, skip this. And we're in the game, what's this? Classic RPG mode, Q&A. Action mode. Okay, we're gonna do action mode. Okay, hold W to move forward. Okay, you can move with WSD. Can we jump? Oh yeah, can we double jump? Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Usually in these kinds of MMORPGs, you can double jump. I can't double jump. Okay, move forward. Let's go. We need to go there. There goes the quest. Let's take it. Talk to the quest giver. Ying Yuan. My dear. Okay. Let's skip all of this. Accept quest. Okay, we got the quest. Now we need to go over there. Okay, so we can easily tell that the questing in the game would be very easy to do. Let's follow the quest. How about let's try attacking? Okay, that's our basic attack. Because we're a mage, that's the heavy attack. Is that it? How about the middle bo- Oh no. The middle mouse button is auto run. And what's happening here? Another cutscene. Let's skip this. And there goes Hao Shang. Talk to him. Greetings. Give me a quest. Complete quest. 
Oh, accept quest? What's gonna happen if we fall down? Oh, it's not water, it's ice. <laughs> okay, let's go. Get the sword. It's the Phantom Blade. That's the first Phantom Blade about this one. The names are different. Is there an effect if I fix something different? Okay, anyway. Use my new sword to ignite the lamp of revelation. This one? Okay, let's ignite the lamp. What's happening here? It's closing upon me. Uh, go to the Red Dawn and introduce yourself to Zen Ren. Ah, I need to go here? Let's go. I thought this game is gonna be impressive. Seems like it's not so different than your usual MMORPG. Okay, how about let's go to the settings. Maybe max it out. Okay, it's already maxed out. Okay, anyway, let's go take the quest. Take the quest. Complete quest. Give me another one. Enough with the NPC interaction. Give me a kill quest or something that would test the combat of the game. And all these years, most MMORPGs are still stuck in that kind of beginning. You talk to a lot of NPCs before you do anything. And it's not fun, man. Give me an awesome introduction. And I think this is it. Let's go. This is a much more interesting area. It's just, it's kind of dark. Okay, bleed fragment. We need to collect these things. Now, after the NPC interactions, they're now making me gather stuff. It's not really gathering stuff, but it's kind of is a gathering quest. It's create a soul bond. Well, it's very similar to a gather quest. Oh, look at this. This place looks awesome. It's the Terracotta army. What? Okay, we're gonna fight him. Attack him. It's auto lock on. Q and E. Okay, let's try E. Lame curse. How about Q? Man, that's left and right mouse button. Why am I going to press Q and E if I can use the mouse buttons? Okay, slightly bigger one. Let's go, bro. Dodge. No. What's the dodge in this game? I press space. And we got defeated for some reason. Can we dodge? Oh, yeah. The dash is shift. Press F2 to meditate. Okay, now we're meditating. Look at this. It's sit down. <laughs> okay. Let's stand up. Let's go. The three sword masters. Man, I was really expecting something really impressive about this game. Because this is a $40 MMORPG. It's free now, by the way. It's now free to play. But this used to be a buy to play game. I guess, you know, the population is going down and they have to keep the game up. Okay, anyway. We need to attack this one. Let's go. What's happening? It's auto lock on, guys. Okay, we annihilated those. Now this guy over here. Can we do ray tracing here? Ah man, I really need to upgrade my workstation to an RTX card. Because I think this is gonna look good if ray tracing is on. Awaken the flower full sword. And there goes the flower full sword. Skip this. And we're back outside. Talk to this NPC. Man, it's almost 20 minutes. And I'm still talking to NPCs and you know, the game barely started. And what's this? Skip this. It's the story. If you guys want to see the story, you guys gotta have to play it. And what's this? We're riding some kind of a mechanical dragon. Ooh. This is interesting. We're gonna attack those. Man, I kinda... Wait a minute. I've seen this, but... No. Not this way. I mean, the gameplay. That's why the demons are attacking so ferociously. What game is that? Okay, anyway, let's just do this. And now they're appearing at Taihua Mountain. Now we need to scout the battlefield. How do we scout the battlefield? Man, I don't even know how to steer this dragon. I'm not steering the dragon, by the way. I'm just aiming at enemies These monsters here are just the this bandit. dragon this mechanical dragon is moving on its own okay now we're down learn bright light left click and drag to the quick bar okay i dragged it on e i was trying to drag it on r but okay i missed my bad let's go let's fight these guys let's try out our new skill or a summoner without a summon most enemies are one hit we're just starting out, it's fine. Oh, look at this dude. Are you another player? Nope, another NPC, but she kind of looks cool. Look at this. Give me another quest. Complete quest. And again, the mechanical dragon. Escape this. Where's the MMO village? We usually start out in a, some kind of a small town. 
And I think this is the first village. Okay, anyway, let's talk to this NPC. Okay, guys, as usual, before we turn over the quest, we're gonna check out the cash shop. And where is it? How do we summon the cursor here? Okay, there goes control. And there it goes. I hovered in here and it's here. Top up? No, it's not top up. I'm just checking it. Shop. And I think this is the cash shop, guys. The Crimson Coin Shop. So how about give me a few minutes. I'm gonna review all of this and check the prices of the Crimson Coin. Okay, guys, I checked the price of the Crimson Coin. And 500 Crimson Coin is $5. So this first ball over here, is this a pet? Okay, let's assume it's a pet. So it's gonna be... Oh my god, my map. <laughs> about $50. What the floppy bird? No. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, what's this fuzzball? Let's check this one out. Oh, it's a mount. It increases your movement speed. Okay. And what's this? Graceful knight. It's a skin. It's a very expensive skin. Another skin over here. And why is this? Oh my god. Okay. So it's fine by me. It's just a skin. They could price it $200 a pop. It wouldn't matter to me because I'm never gonna buy this. <laughs> okay, anyway. Now, what's this? Is this a hairstyle? No hair accessory. Ugh, about $20 for an accessory. Okay, and what's this? Is this a weapon? Dragon's Claw. Ninefold Limit. Is this a weapon? Oh, no. It's a weapon skin. Okay, I'm fine with that. And what's this? Crimson Delight. Again, it's a mount. It increases your movement speed. Okay, so that's the front tab. How about let's move in the outfit tab. And yeah, these are all skins. And they're all friggin' expensive. The headgear costs 400 crimson coin. So that's about $4. And the body skin is 4k crimson coin. Oh my. Okay, so it's just skins, which is nice. Let's go to the hairstyle tab. Okay, so there are cheap hairstyles over here. Oh no, they're not hairstyles. They're headgears. But why is it labeled as hairstyle? Okay, anyway. Probably some of them are hairstyles. And some are headgear. And what is this? A veil. Okay, a veil skin. For about $8.5. Okay. Oh, weapons. I think this is what we're looking for, guys. Weapons. Uh, okay, this one is a skin. And this one is another skin. How about this? Okay, so I guess it's safe to say that all of these are weapon skins. It's not pay to win. Now for the festive clothing. Yeah, they're all skins. Why is it separated from the outfits? Okay, anyway, footstep. What's this? We can buy footsteps in the game. This can't be pay to win. This should be just some kind of an effect. Oh yeah, you can buy footsteps in the game. And now in the accessories tab. Ooh, what is this? It's a lot of it. Okay, they're all skins. And some for your pets. Okay. A lot of the things in the cash shop is just cosmetics. Actually, pretty much everything is cosmetics. How about in the appearance? Okay, cosmetics. You can change your appearance here if you don't like your hair, your makeup, your hairstyle, your body type, and you can even change your voice for a price. Okay, now let's go to the mount. And there goes the mount. So a mount is usually around $40 each. Oh my god. Why is it $40 for a mount? Really? And there's a lot of mount. Oh my god. Oh, there's there are cheaper mounts over here. Oh yeah. If you are poor, this one is only $25 for this fish. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, anyway. There's a residence tab over here. I guess this is for your personal space. You can buy a lot of things for your personal space. Okay. In the other tab, there's a premium pass. What's this? A subscription that gives attack? No. Oh, it's battle pass, guys. I thought it's a subscription item, which a battle pass is kind of s. Yes. But anyway, it's a battle pass. And then... Here's a name changer if you don't like your name, appearance changer if you don't like your appearance, gender change, and this new identity bundle over here. Okay, it changes your name and gender, and then alliance name change, and that's the cash shop of the game. There are other shops over here, but it's not the crimson coin. So I guess to be able to buy the things in this point shop, the crystal dust shop, you need to play the game. Okay, so that's nice to know. The game is not paid to win. But, I don't know guys, I really feel that this game will be pay to win soon. So I don't wanna say in this video, right now, that this won't be pay to win because I truly believe that they're gonna make this pay to win. Ignore what the devs are saying, you know, they're usually liars. They always are liars. Look at Kakao Games, IMC Games, pretty much all of them, they will lie to you. 
So anyway, right now, it's not pay to win. But I can't say tomorrow. Okay. So anyway, you guys probably didn't see what you wanted to see. Because I wasn't able to see what I wanted to see from the cash up. Because it's not pay to win. It's all cosmetics, which is, I guess, that's what I want to see. But admittedly, I want to see the pay to win stuff. Okay, anyway, let's go play the game. Turn over the quest. Okay, now what? Man, another talk quest. We need to talk to another guy. Jump. It's a sword stone monument. Grandmaster. There's quite a few people trying this game out. I've seen a lot of people passing over here. Okay, anyway. Talk to the Grandmaster. Complete quest. Now what? To be able to move fast, I need to press W twice. I need to hold it. Okay, there it goes. We're moving fast. Let's turn over the quest. Jump. Oh, now we're gonna double jump. Nice. Okay, talk to the... What's this? Elder of Magic. Complete quest. Now to this Berserker. Man, there's a lot of talking to NPCs in the beginning of the game. Okay, now what? Oh, okay. Now we need to defeat the Raging Stone Giants, which is uh, where? I guess they're here. There it goes. We also need to defeat this Tiger Paw Stone Sprite. Let's go. It's a skill. I want to be able to use a, a summon. Problem here is... I think we're a novice. We're not yet a summoner. What's happening here? I'm trying to attack. Oh, I think it's teaching me how to loot. What's happening here, bruh? Oh! I think I'm on traditional mode. I need to switch to action mode. Okay, when I'm summoning this cursor over here, I can't use the left and right mouse button to attack. Okay, I didn't know. My bad. Let's go! We're just starting off. I played for like 40 minutes now. And I haven't really fought anything significant in the game. <laughs> so I'm not used to it yet. Okay, let's fight this giant. What's that bar appearing when I'm using the heavy attack? Is it asking me to loot? Okay, I think I can turn over the quest now. Let's go. Mo Gong. Talk to this dude. Complete quest. Turn over the quest. Now what? I need to go to the raging centenarian stone giant. Okay. I think I need to fight the giant. This one. Let's go. This one is tough. But I don't have any interesting skin. I want to check out our bag. I never checked out my bag. Ooh, what is this? Gift chest for time spent together. Okay, let's open this. Lotus bag. Just open it. Use this noodles. Another first time spent together. I need to be level 19 to be able to open this. Okay, anyway, I think that's the support box. Okay, now what? Let's turn over the quest. But wait a minute, I gotta say this. I'm liking this area. It looks real nice. Okay, let's, let's go. Now, give me another quest. Heal the wounded. Okay, so we need to interact with this to heal the wounded. The wounded fox. One more fox. Let's turn over the quest. Jump. She looks interesting. What are you wearing? Okay, anyway. Turn over the quest. Complete. Accept a new quest. There it goes. We need to defeat the Devastator Chieftain. And a few normal Devastators. This one's... You don't look like a Devastator. You look like a hobo. Okay, anyway. Let's look for more Devastators. What happened? I think there's a barrier here. Jump! Oh yeah, there's a barrier there. That's preventing me from going there. Okay, anyway. What's this? Can we interact with this? Oh, I need to interact with those wounded soldiers or dead ones. And there goes a Devastator. Let's go! Devastator Vanguard. I'm done with the Devastators. Now I need to find the Devastator Chieftain. Where is your Chieftain? Is that you? The Devastator Leader? You're not the Chieftain. You're the Leader. Okay, I wasn't able to <laughs> find the chieftain because it's not labeled as a chieftain it's a devastator leader let's go okay i'm starting to enjoy the game because there are more kill quests i'm playing the game complete complete the other quest now i need to go to another village let's go jump talk to hao shang how do you pronounce the hao shang hao kang complete quest and there goes zombies close this cutscene let's fight them off turn over the quest first let's go we need to follow Hao Shang. Where is he? Okay, there he goes. 
He's casting a spell. No, this is a different NPC. Lilane, your name is different. Okay, anyway. Turnover quest complete. Okay, now we need to hunt down the Devastators. Interact with this. This one is highlighted. We need to interact with this negative G. Okay, now the Devastators. Let's go. More negative chi, okay. Interact with more negative chi. Five negative chis, okay. Then five devastators. Purifying negative chi. One more, and we're done with the quest. Let's turn it over. The line. My little friend. You Give me another quest. Complete quest. Eliminate the runes in the eye of the formation. Okay, I need to interact with this. We're interacting with the rune. Now what? Okay, it's getting purified. Let's turn over the quest. Now we need to go to the second magical formation. Let's go! Run! And there goes Hao Shang. Oh, look at this. Boss fight. I'm assuming this dude, this monster over here is gonna escape. And then a boss fight will start. Let's go! Okay, let's go. Free him. I'm gonna fight him. Continue. Now what? Uh, what am I supposed to do, Hao Chang? Okay, we need to interact with this one. Let go. Just release him. I'm gonna fight him. The sword is full of negative chi. Okay, the sword is full of negative chi. So let's skip this cutscene. And fight that. Okay, where's the monster? And guys, let me fight the boss. Let's go. Complete quest. Yuzimo. Ooh, I think I got a new weapon. Let's open it. Levitating. Oh no, I think this is the mount. Oh yeah, so there's a pre, so there's a free mount, guys. Press T to mount up, and there goes the first mount, guys. It's a sword. Okay, at least there's a free sword because the prices of the mounts and the cash up is kind of absurd. Okay, anyway, press Shift to dash forward. I'm pressing Shift, bruh. Nothing's happening when I'm pressing Shift. Okay, anyway, I think I need to interact with this thing. Okay, anyway, let's go to the next quest area. I thought this mount could fly. Oh yeah, I could fly. When I press space, I could levitate. Noise. We're already levitating by default. So anyway, we can fly. Let's go. Look at this. We're playing fly. The game starts to look awesome when you're on your mount. It's just a bit foggy in this place. Let's go there. Panorama hill. And there it goes. I can dash. A few moments ago, I couldn't. I think I should fly first before I could dash. Let's go. Look at this. It ends pretty fast though. How do you dismount T? There it goes. We dismounted. Turn over the quest. Complete quest. Okay guys, after turn over in the quest, I got teleported here at a different area. Okay, anyway, let's take another quest. We got that quest. Now what? We need to interact with this. Oh, getting damaged. What am I supposed to do? Okay, I need to use this item. Ah, there it goes. We need to seal whatever this is. Sealing technique. Okay, a few more. Why won't this disappear? Okay, anyway. One more rune to finish it off. Then we need to defeat some devastators. Let's go. Oh, we're on tab targeting mode. This is tab targeting mode, right? Okay, let's go action mode. Finish up all the monsters. Where's your boss? I wanna fight your boss. Can we add some skills here? Where's my summon? Oh man, I'm stuck with those skills. Okay, so how about let's finish up the quest. Then turn it over. Let's go boss fight. Complete. Okay, there it goes. We need to fight the Devastator boss. Move fast. And there goes the Devastator boss. Let's go, bro. Can we attack while fly? Okay. It's very underwhelming. And that's Swords of Legends Online from the start. And I was expecting more from this previously buy to play MMORPG because they sold this for about $40. And to be honest, I didn't see anything worth paying for here. It seems like your usual free to play MMORPG. Anyway, it's now free to play. Okay, uh, wait. I just realized that this was a buy to play MMORPG with a cash shop. I can't believe people bought this. Okay, uh. 
The questing is filled with NPC interactions and a few combat moments from the start. And all are easy enough to follow. I hope that as we progress the game, there's gonna be more action. Cause the NPC interactions are getting tedious. Now, combat. There's two options, traditional tab targeting and action combat. Which is a good idea. Cause I know a few people that absolutely likes the good old way to play MMORPGs which is tab targeting. And a few that wants action combat and that includes me. So that's good options. Now the graphics. Character models looks nice. But the environment is a mixed bag of some places looks nice and some looks like they made it in 2010. Now the frame rates. I didn't encounter any hiccups. So it's stable. All in all. This is a decent MMORPG and it's now free to play and not pay to win. Problem here is when are they gonna make this pay to win? We're gonna have to wait for that moment. And for now, if you wanna play the game, it's on Steam. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gamey Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gamey Hardcore. See you in the next one.